In this lecture, you'll learn about the multipathing software tools for ONTAP. That's Multipath IO, DSM, and Host Utilities. Multipath IO, that's MPIO solutions, use multiple physical paths between the SAN storage system and the host initiators. If a path fails, the MPIO system switches I.O. between the initiator and the target to other paths so that hosts can still access their data. So looking at the example topology here, we have got a host initiator, which is the client, and we have got a four node on tap system. And following best practice, we don't want to have any single points of failure. So we've got our Fabric A switch and our Fabric B switch. And each of the nodes is connected to both of the switches. So you can see here, there are eight available paths. Two to node one, two to node two, two to node three, and two to node four. For each node, it's got two paths, one through each of the fabrics. Now, if you have multiple paths, which you should do for redundancy between a storage system and a host, you must have some type of MPIO software on the clients so that the client sees all of the paths as connecting to a single virtual disk, that's the LUN. Without MPIO software, the client treats each path as a separate disk, which can corrupt the data on the virtual disk. So going back to that previous example, where there was eight paths, and you configure a LUN for that client, it can end up seeing eight LUNs rather than just the one actual LUN. So you need to have MPIO software installed on there so that this is going to work correctly. On a Windows system, there's two main components to any MPIO solution. That's a device-specific module, which is the DSM, and also the Windows MPIO components. The MPIO software presents a single disk to the operating system for all paths. So that one LUN really does look like one LUN. And the DSM software manages the path failover if required. To connect to NetApp storage, enable Windows MPIO on the host. So this is not enabled by default. It's something that you have to turn on in Windows. You'll see how to do that when you see the lab demo. For the DSM, you can either use the Windows native DSM, which is enabled when you enable MPIO in Windows, or you can install the ONTAP DSM for Windows MPIO. The NetApp DSM sets host SAN parameters to the recommended settings for NetApp and also includes reporting tools. But current Windows versions have full NetApp support already included in the operating system native DSM. And the ONTAP DSM is actually not supported from Windows 2016. So if you're using Windows 2016 or newer, you don't need to install the ONTAP DSM. If you're using older than Windows 2016, then it is recommended to use the ONTAP DSM. Another piece of software that is available from NetApp is Host Utilities. And NetApp Host Utilities software is available not just for Windows, but also for Linux and Unix hosts as well. NetApp Host Utilities sets the recommended SAN parameters, such as timeout timers on the host computer and on certain host bus adapters as well. Hosts can connect to LUNs on NetApp storage systems without installing host utilities. So it's not mandatory to install this, but it is recommended to get the best performance and also all the extra reporting tools as well. So to summarize that again, if you're using Windows or Unix or Linux, then you should install NetApp host utilities. And if you're using older than Windows 2016, you should also install the ONTAP DSM. Okay, so let's have a look at where we actually download the software from. So I'll go to the NetApp website, and then I'm going to go to their support site. So I click on support, and then in here, I'm going to click on support again. 
and that takes me to the support dashboard. This is because I've already logged in. Normally, if you haven't already entered your username and password, you'll be prompted for them here. That's your username and password for the NetApp website. So I've got into the NetApp support site, and then I'm gonna to go to downloads and then software. And then when I land on the page here, I'll scroll down a bit. And you can see there is host utilities, SAN. And if I click on the platform drop down, that is available for Windows and Linux, various flavors of Unix, and also VMware ESX. And for the DSM, that's a little bit further down. That is listed as multipath IO here. And if I look at the platform for that, you're going to see that is just available for Windows if I can select the right one. So there you go, multipath IO only available for Windows. Thanks for watching. If you want to get hands-on practice with NetApp Storage for free on your laptop, then you can download my free ebook, which you can see above my head right now. Also check out my NetApp Storage Complete course, which will teach you everything you could possibly want to know about ONTAP. Thanks.